What's up my fellow rogues, welcome back to the Rogue Painter YouTube channel for another episode of Mortal Realms Monday magazine review. So today we are looking at issue 8 and with this we do get some more miniatures unlike last week and a pot of paint. So the pot of paint is Cantor blue so we can start painting our, our secretals or our, our storm hosts robes and the miniatures are do like the look of these ones i have been waiting quite a bit for this issue uh we got the celestar ballisters or ballistas so obviously we've got the large base here for the the ballista itself and the two slightly smaller bases again these are all push fit uh for the two celestar loaders or whatever you want to call them um so yeah pretty cool miniatures there again at the end of the video i'll put the price of this as well as the magazine and the paint and show the savings um, but I do believe this is I may be wrong I'll have to look it uh, check it up but I think this is around 20 pounds for this maybe so uh, I'll check that out and then like I said I'll put the correct price up at the end uh, so don't quote me on that guys all right so in this issue we're going to be looking at the Celestar Ballisters painting with Cantor Blue and a charging playthrough so we're going to learn, learn about charging so the Celestar Ballisters, they cover the walls of every Stormkeep. They are potent artillery weapons with great range, a rapid rate of fire and the ability to cut down dozens of enemies before they ever reach the walls or defences of the Stormcast Eternals defenders. So uh, basically they're the artillery of the, uh, the Stormcast and uh, the idea behind them is to take down as much of your enemy as you can before they have chance to reach your frontline tr troops your frontline soldiers uh, probably good for defensive positions and things like that as well um, if you play Warhammer then obviously you know a bit more about them than I do I tend to paint more than I play these days but uh, yeah definitely uh, a bit of a cool thingy uh, there you go they are the Sacristan engineers are the two miniatures that we get with it so we get a loader and a spotter um, these guys do look pretty cool I may fo focus on uh, the painting tutorial today for the uh, the ballista itself um, and then maybe one of these guys otherwise we will save these for an issue where we don't have uh, any miniatures with a magazine and I can come back and throw a tutorial up for one of these guys uh, let me know down in the comments if you would like like me to do that um, or if you would like me to paint these guys and throw them up as a tutorial or a quick painting video something like that um, a time lapse or something later in the week then I can sort that out for you uh, these guys they do have some flesh tone on them they're not fully clad in armor so that's you know a little bit interesting to put some skin tone on on these models anyway uh, we've then got the realms of Shaiish yeah, I think that's how you pronounce it Shiish, Shiish. Um, we got not all of Shiish is dominated by the dead despite its gloomy appearance the city of Lethis is still full of mortal life so although it's a realm of the dead or the realm of death uh, we do get cities with people living in it so uh, yeah, that's kind of interesting for some background stuff uh, then we've got a little bit on the people of Shaiish and the uh, the cosmology, uh, the realm of Shaiish. Let's see if we can get this here. So we've got the cosmos arcane, wide oceans and vast continents cover Shaiish's surface. All the realm of Shaiish is infused with amethyst grave sand. The underworlds of Shaiish are notoriously difficult to explore and thick with Nagash's undead minions. So primarily undead but we do have some living there too uh, then we've got the realms besieged on the haunted streets of glim's forge the night haunt prowl in their their way stand the hammers of sigma that was the ones i was trying to think of the name of in the previous issue uh, who will yield for no foe so there we go uh, then we've got some on glim's forge uh, was once for was one of the first cities to come under attack from the Gashes Night Haunt armies. The city is defended by the anvils of Heldenhammer. 
and the Hammers of Sigmar, who both suffered losses during the attack. The city has many networks of tombs, catacombs and temples. When the Nighthorn attack came, these spirits burst up within the city walls and nearly overwhelmed the defenders, but they were beaten back. So there you go, you've got two different horns, uh, storm hosts that actually fight together, so you know that gives you uh, an idea that you can mix your storm host armies if you don't want to just paint one storm host, mix them and you know they're probably still a viable army. Then uh, obviously we've got the how to build the Celestar, obviously there was no how to build in the previous episode because there was no nothing to build. Um, they do go through some uh, clipping out fragile parts first, uh, as I explained in the Exandria uh, tutorial. You do want to clip out the fragile parts before you clip out, clip off the parts that are connected to the more stable areas, because if you clip the weak, the stronger points first, then you've got all that pressure on that weak point when you're clipping. Clip the clip the weak points first, and then you can clip over the, the stronger parts. Uh, without risk of with risk of breaking your miniature. So then we've got how to paint the Celestar Ballister. So by now you should have your Retributor armor, your Corax white, your Reichland flesh shade, and your Stormhost silver. And with this issue, we get the Cantor blue. Obviously, you've got a few more paints for the uh, the Night Haunts as well, but these are the paints you need for the the Stormhost. So first of all, with your uh, ballista, you want to go over with your retroputer armor. Once that's settled or dried, you then want to go in with some Reichland Flesh Shade to get your, your darker tones and your darker areas in the recesses and stuff. Uh, dry brush that with the Stormhost Silver. So everything the same as last issue. And now we're going in with the Corvax White for the inside of the robes. Um, and the skin so that makes it easy to put flesh tones and stuff on uh, and then your cantor blue for the outside of the robes um, the shields and the tops of their pauldrons and then you should be at this stage with your models which you know they're two steps off from battle ready you know the most basic of battle ready you've got your, your flat base coat of each you've got your Highlights dry brushed onto your, your golden areas, so essentially the gold is finished. Um, yeah, you're getting there. Right, then obviously this is this issue, because we've got the, the ballista, it's going to teach us how to use that in battle. Uh, so for this, you need your Celesta ballista and your Glaive Wraith stalkers, and obviously some dice rulers and half of the large battle map. So, I'm going to teach you the charging again uh, to get closer to combat so you don't get gunned down by your, your enemy's ballista there. Uh, then they're teaching how to hit and shoot in with uh, ranged attacks. You've got your glaive raids attack, your ballista attacks and so on. And then you've got some war scroll stuff at the end there. So uh, once again, that's the end of this issue and also the end of this episode. Here's the, the correct prices for the miniatures and paint included in this issue. And uh, I'd like to thank you all for joining me for yet another episode of Mortal Realms Monday's Magazine review. Uh, I've got some links down in the bottom in the description there. If you'd like to check those out for my Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, and uh, Patreon there, and also a Discord channel. And uh, if you like the video, don't forget to hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and the uh, the little bell there to get notifications of when new videos go live. And thanks a lot. I will catch you all next time.